Hi crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Marissa. Today I have these super cute little projects to share. So I posted a reel and then I forgot to make the actual video. Oh, I hate when I do that. I make stuff and I set it aside and then I move on to the next thing. And so I just, it slipped my mind to share these. Um, but I think Erica sent an email with the animals and it reminded me, hey, I didn't make the video. So these are all dies that I use that are from the new release for ScrapDivaDesigns.com. They are available now. Um, I'll link them all in the description box as well as the older sets that I used. Uh, so let's jump in. So in my head, I was thinking party animals when I saw the little, you know, characters. They're so cute. This little pig is adorable. Um, and so I just went with colors. And the first thing that I wanted to do was like make a little container to put them in. I didn't know at what capacity I wanted to create like memory decks. I just knew I wanted to make some kind of embellishment with the little animals and then have them go in the cow head here, the uh, mini album die set. So for this cow, I used the cow mini die set or the whole set and it comes with so many pieces. Like there's four layers, you guys. And then there's also like the piece for like the uh, patches and the nose part here, the mouth and the eyes. And to make the box, oops, I used her box um, maker set. I'll link it in the description um, description box, my goodness. Um, but I used, I just used this piece here and I cut out with the green paper and what I did was I started gluing on one side and went all the way. When I got here, I just made sure that it lined up with the edge of the ear and then I trimmed off and it worked out so well that one whole piece fit. So I just had to cut it once, which was great. And so that's what I did to create the um, little cow box. It's so cute. And I just wanted to use bright colors. And so also I had the... Um, pebbles collection i think it was called party life i can't remember and i just thought it was so cute to use and i only had a few like pieces of of the full sheets from the six by eight paper pad and so i decided let's use it all up so that i can um just finish it up and it worked out perfectly also i did have the digital um kit and so then i ended up making the um ephemera bits like i have some here I don't know if I just said that earlier that I used a digital kit. Oh, I'm rambling, guys. Um, I had caffeine, so I'm not supposed to because it makes me sick, but I just love coffee and I needed a pick me up um, already. Anyways, back to my little box. So I just went with bright colors and the little hat just kind of kept it simple, but added layers to it. This is just little punches that I have in my stash. And then this was, this is like the center of a flower. I don't know where, what flower, what die set it comes from. It's just like pieces that I have of dyes sitting aside and I just grabbed them for whatever. And so I thought it'd be cute to put it there because it reminds me of the little pom-pom balls. So, of course, I threw it in there. And then these, I have one here and I have one here. You can't even see it because I covered it. But these are cute little um, buttons that I've had. I don't know if you guys can see that. If it's, And I've had them. They're like, I don't even know where they come from, you guys. I've had those two were the last ones I had. And they just worked out perfect. So, I did that. And then this, there's a heart paper in the collection. I just punched. I cut out one of the hearts. Um, so, there's like a little blue here from the heart that was next to it. And I just thought it would be perfect to fit in there. And then I add some diamond dots to the eyes. Okay, so for the cute little memory decks, what I ended up using was the um, party bus because in my head, you know, party animals and the party. Bus. I used the memory decks ticket um, die set that Erica put out last month. And then, of course, the three animals. And these were the dies that I used. Now, for the little bus, I took the whole bus itself, cut it out, and then trimmed this part off. And then what I did was I took some of the different papers that I had, as you can see back here, and just cut out the layering piece and add it there. And then took this bottom piece here and ended up adding it, you know, around here to make it kind of look like a little bus. Although it's kind of hard to tell, but it's back there. And then I just layered up all the ephemera and flowers as you can see. I did have extras because when I printed out the kit I did different sizes and so I had some that worked and some that didn't so then I went back and printed up some more that I could downsize like I was measuring I pulled out a little ruler and I was measuring um, to make sure that they would fit 
And then these little flowers come from, I think it's Hobby Lobby has them. They're like their brand. Um, but I've had it for a long, long time and I just finally finished up what was left of them. So it's kind of like I used up everything and I feel so proud that I finished up <laughs> some stuff. Um, this one though, I wanted to say that this little pick back here, it's on a toothpick. It's one of those party picks on a, it's clear as you can see. And I ended up just cutting these strips out. It was part of a cut apart from the paper. I used the six by eight paper pad for it. And then here are just printables. Isn't that cute? Little bow or little um, sipping cups. In the background, there's like little cups, but you can't really see it. And that's part of the digital print. So cute. And this one, isn't that such a cute design? The ring pop. I think I'm going to pull this out for Halloween too, because it's a candy is my goal. I think it'd be cute. Um, so yeah, so these are my three little memory decks and they go nicely in the little box. As you can see here, I can even fit more honestly, but this is just kind of what I wanted to make a cute little housing for them because they're, they're party animals. Anyways, if you guys want to pick up any of these die sets, head over to ScrapDivaDesigns.com. I do have a discount code MWalker10 and I do have an affiliate code um, that I'll add all in the description box. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, I hope to have some more videos for you guys soon, um, especially since my kids are going back to school. Um, I will have more quiet time and um, able to go back to my Monday mini series um, of albums because I do have a few I need to share um, that I fell behind and did. I finished them up and now I need to make the videos for it. So stay tuned, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.